Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. So, hope you're doing well. We're, we're good on the Wi-Fi, and I think we've gotten everything straightened out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. So, I hope everybody's doing good. Mm. Um, also, here's the thing. Good morning, Sean. Hi. Good morning, Ivana. Nice to see you. Hello. Hi, Andy. Glad you got it today. The uh, time change got Andy yesterday. <laughs> Slacker. Um, no, I'm just kidding. So, you know, today, good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Hi, Melinda. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see everybody coming in. Good morning, Amber. Um, we're going to talk about the idea of I'm flawed, okay? I, I saw someone post that. I saw them say... I love myself, flaws and all. And I kept thinking though, what are we telling ourselves if we're telling ourselves we're flawed? I mean, I already talked about that we don't have to be perfect and what are we going for perfection and what is perfection and what does that mean? But in the same vein, why are you saying you're flawed? Why can't you just be who you are? Like, let's embrace who we are. So that doesn't mean we don't want to continuously grow and evolve and learn because we all do, right? As we progress through life, as we have life challenges, changes, experiences, we, we grow from them or hopefully we grow from them, right? But to sit there and say, I'm flawed. Think about how you're talking to yourself and about yourself. That, what is that? Why, why do we have to say? So what if someone is um, super sensitive or what if they're uh, impatient? Like I'm, I'm notoriously impatient, right? Now, do I work on that? Yeah. Do I have to say I'm flawed? No, I'm just impatient. <laughs> just don't get on my nerves. <laughs> right? So... I, I would love for us to start eliminating that kind of language, when, especially when we're talking about ourselves. Because the only way you would have even had the idea or the concept of being flawed is because somebody told you you're flawed. Somebody told you something about you isn't right. You're either too much of this, not enough of that. You should be this. Stop doing that. That's where we create this idea that I'm flawed, right? It doesn't come from us. You're not born with this idea that you're flawed. You're not born with it. You, you, it only comes about because of what we're getting from the outside world. And when we start putting the outside world in their place, and we start just embracing who we are and owning who we are and being comfortable and confident in who we are, then we don't have to refer to ourselves as being flawed. Uh, we're, we're works in progress. <laughs> Good morning, Paula. Hello. Oh, there you go. Working. I see Melinda says I am a work in progress. Exactly. Um, but you know, we're all striving, we're all striving for the best life possible that we want. We really are. I mean, you're, you're striving for, you know, the money you want, the success you want, the relationship you want. We're all striving for that. Good morning, Terry. Nice to see you. We're all, we're all trying to get somewhere. You know, we're all trying to get somewhere. But when we can settle into where we are and who we are and enjoy that experience and to just kind of marinate in it, you know, simmer, simmer in who you are, you don't have to worry about whether or not you're flawed, all right? You don't have to worry about is someone not going to like you or you not going to be enough or you too much of this. What you can do is just settle in and stand in your own power and just say, this is it. This is what you got. This is it. <laughs> and you know what? 
I bet if you look at each and one, every one of you, look at yourself, take a moment, and you look at yourself, I bet you're a pretty darn good person. I bet you're pretty darn good, right? You try your best, you mean, you mean well, uh, you care about other people. You know, because you wouldn't be watching this if you were an insensitive jerk, right? You're not going to be watching this. You're not going to be drawn to this. So the fact that you're here, and we're here, and we're sharing together, it already says you're caring. You're, it already says that you, you are already working on yourself, right? So as we, and, and when we say work on ourselves, I, th I think that that just means finding balance. You, you don't have to be this um, level of perfection, and, but you also don't have to tear yourself down. You don't have to be that negative Nelly that says you're flawed, okay? Um, coming to what are whole and complete. I, you know, we are, we are taking the ultimate opportunity to coming to what we are whole and complete. Uh, maybe, but may, what, maybe there is no complete. Maybe there's just balance. I mean, because the completeness, I mean, even on a soul level when you pass... Your soul continuously learns lessons. It can There's no there. So, I, I mean, maybe the complete is just about you feeling balanced. I, I don't know. But I do feel that we put too much stress on uh, being negative about ourselves. We put too much stress on trying to be more of this or less of that or what someone else wants us to be or um, what other people are saying about us. Just... You know, it's too much for you to hold on to. It's too exhausting. Just be a good person. <laughs> and if you know you're a good person, you know you're trying your best, that's all you can do. You're not going to make everybody happy. Not going to happen. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There are just some people that are just not going to like you. Period. There are some people going to think... You're not doing something right. Not your problem. All right? Come from that good heart space. Come from that centered space. Come from that meaning well place. You know? Do that and allow yourself to kind of uh, appreciate who you are. We don't spend enough time appreciating each of us and what we have to offer and the goodness that we have and the kindness that we can share. You know? And the level of focusing on what makes us different. You know, what makes us unique. If we're all the same, how boring. Like, if we all look at everything the same, how boring is that? So if, you know, you find that you, you are flawed, I want you to write down what those flaws are. Write down what your perception of your flaw is. Now, when you look at that, right, this is your homework, right? Write those down, look at it. And when you look at it, think back, think back, go back to it. How did you first discover that? How, what, how did that come about? Did someone tell you? Did, uh, was it a parent? Was it a relationship? Was it a boss? Was it a friend? Who told you that, first of all? Second of all, is that person still in your life? Third of all, what was it about them that this aspect of you was a trigger? Okay? And I think when you start to really look at these ideas that you have of yourself, these ideas of what you think is inadequate or not enough, I bet you more than anything, they came from someone else. I bet you more than anything... They didn't, you didn't come out of the womb thinking that about yourself, all right? So what I want you to do then is after you write it down and you kind of start to sort it out, ask yourself, is this something I actually want to change for me? Do I want to work on this for me, you know? And if you do, then you go through the exercises of changing your habits to do it. But if you're, if you're saying, well, listen, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm kind of very opinionated, I think. I, I have a strong sense of what I believe. That's not good. I, I, you know, and in this woo-woo world of lightworkers, we're 
supposed to be all accepting and all, you know, it's boring. Have a take on something, have a viewpoint, have passion about something, have the courage to stand in who you are and not perceive yourself as flawed. All right? Because I got to tell you, every single human being on the planet would be flawed under that case scenario. Okay? So, oh, Catherine, thank you. Thank that was a very sweet message. Um, she says, I'm a sweet soul. You see? You see, I am sweet. <laughs> All right. Here's the deal. Look at yourself as love. Look at yourself as fabulous. Look at yourself as phenomenal. And let go of what anyone has ever said or what you perceive to be flawed. Alrighty? Got it? Mm. So there you go. That is your Coffee with Colby for today. Alright? You guys get out there and rock it. Get out there and rock it. Do not... I want you to pay attention. Do not use the word flawed around your vocabulary again. Please don't. Use the word love. Use the word fabulous. Use the word friggin' fantastic. Because that's exactly what you are. Exactly what you are. All right? If you lose your temper every now and again, that's fine. If you get upset, that's fine. If you're emotional and cry over a TV show, that's fine. If you get upset or a feeling of jealous, that's okay. That's all right. You're allowed to feel. You're allowed to be who you are. All right. There you go. So um, on the YouTube, I did all this work on the YouTube, set up all the playlists, got it all organized. I was very proud of myself. Um, so if you get a chance, check out the YouTube and you can subscribe. This way you get the radio show that I do every Thursday night. All the episodes are there. All these coffees with Colby's are there. And uh, if I do any other shows, they're all right there. So we get to hang out. Like, like it's just us hanging out. So how awesome is that? Um, have a great day. I'll talk to you later and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.